Hi, in this video I will show you how to add a chamfer or fillet to a part of an edge. I will create a new solid here. I will create a box here. Something like this. Now I will switch to edge selection and add a chamfer to this edge. As you can see, after selecting this edge, the chamfer is applied along the entire edge. If we want to add a chamfer only to a section of the edge, we can use stop points. I press the L key on the keyboard, and now, for example, I will click here, and the chamfer will be created only up to this point. I can also specify another point, for example, I will place the next point here, and the chamfer has been added between these two points. And in this way, we have added a chamfer to a part of the edge. Similarly, we can add fillets. I select the edge, and I will add a radius here. We can also specify a specific value, such as 10 millimeters. So I press the D key on the keyboard, then type 10, and now I press L to define the stop point. In this way, we can also add a fillet to a part of the edge. Right click to confirm, and now I will rotate the model so that this edge is visible. Here, we define the points quite randomly, but we can create lines of specific lengths. I choose the line drawing tool, start drawing the line from this point, press the tab key, type 20, enter, and then I will create another line. I select this point, drag it in this direction, tab, and here for example, 25, enter. Now the endpoints of these lines will define the stop points. I select this edge and here I will add a filler with a radius of 15 millimeters. So I press D, 15. Now I would like to add this fillet only to this fragment, to those 25 millimeters. So I press the L key. Here I hover over the endpoint of this line, and as you can see, the snap indicating the end of this edge is highlighted. I click at this point, and now I would like this fillet to be on this fragment of the edge. Therefore, I press L again to define the next stop point, and I place this point here. And here, as you can see, the fillet has disappeared, but now, if we click on this point and this point, these points will change their color. This fillet has been added here. Right click to confirm, and in this way, we have added such a fillet along this length. Adding stop points is very useful, because on one edge we can add both a chamfer and a fillet. Now I will add a chamfer from this side. I select this line, and I will add a chamfer here. I press the C key, type minus 5, to specify a chamfer with a dimension of 5 millimeters. Now I press L. Define the first stop point, and here the chamfer has already been added to this part of the line, and right click to confirm. In this way, we can add chamfers and fillets to sections of lines. As for these chamfers and fillets, we can adjust them. If I select the surface of the chamfer, I can drag it and increase this chamfer. Similarly, I can also edit it here, I can do it this way. Also here, after creating a chamfer or a radius, we can edit it, we can enlarge it, reduce it, depending on what we need to do. As you can see, in some cases, adding stop points can be very useful. We will finish here. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.